coming up in this video. Oh, I got it! Oh, no. Can you handle videos that are seriously scary? If not, I don't recommend proceeding with this list because these 30 scary videos are disrupting my soul. Number 30. Terrifying Creature A man is biking in the woods when his camera captures something leering at him from the tall grass. Shared by TikToker Lindsay Ivan, this video will leave you feeling watched. See if you can spot it. Did you see it? As the biker speeds down the path, a tall, humanoid-looking figure appears to be watching from the sidelines. Some think this is Slenderman. Some are wondering why this guy is even biking at night in the woods. Although there's no clear answer to that, there are many theories as to what he captured in the comments. Although it does look oddly like a pale-faced figure, I do think, with the speed this guy's going and the darkness, it could be a plant captured at just the right angle. What do you think this is? Number 29. Ghost Got Him When you're nodding off in the early morning, anything can happen in that liminal space. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Redditor Horrifyingly Haunted 3 shares this terrifying, yet quite funny footage of his friend who thought a ghost got him. <coughs> a little context. The resident's home is haunted, and this friend was taking a quick nap as he was getting ready to go. When his friend awoke to find him gone, this was his reaction. Now I'm wondering if he saw himself in the mirror in his peripheral vision and the movement scared him. <coughs> or did he sense some other more evil presence was there? It's difficult to know why this was his reaction, but then again, that liminal space between sleep and wake is half dream and half reality. Number 28. Apparition If you don't like hide and seek, you're gonna hate this. YouTuber Addy Riono shares this scary video of an apparition caught on camera during an innocent game of hide and seek. Ariana, what are you doing? With who? My friend Mabel. Oh, okay. Would you want to play hide and seek with me? Sure. Okay, now you can play with the real person, so I'm going to actually look for you, and I'm going to do all the counting, okay? Alright. Okay, and you're going to be the one hiding. Note that the girl says she was playing with her friend, Mabel. We can assume that Mabel is imaginary. When she drops the game in progress to play with her dad instead, this happens. Ariana! Ariana. He goes upstairs to find his daughter, and he does find her, or so he thinks. Ah, I see you behind the dresser. <laughs> Ariana? You found me! Oh. What? Did Mabel tell you where I was? Get out of here. Come here. Was that Mabel hiding behind the dresser? I see you behind the dresser. In my opinion, this video goes to show that not all imaginary friends are imaginary. Some are phantoms just pretending. Number 27. Woman in White The legendary Woman in White has made her appearance on this abandoned farm multiple times. And here she is again, shared by YouTube channel Chamos. This scary video is trending in the Portuguese-speaking YouTube community. 
Não, e o medo de ficar aqui no escuro, velho. Não, não, não era dessa tá sendo calma, não sei não. Tá louco, louco, cara. Eu também não, cara. Ai, cara, olha lá, velho. Olha lá, cara. Olha ela, cara. Ela tá lá, cara. Ela tá lá de mim. The ghostly figure peers out from around the corner of this stone house. They look around for her but don't find her until But perhaps the most terrifying vision of the woman in white comes later while on the road. Now that's a vision of pure terror, a vision so terrifying, it's disrupting my soul. Number 26, fifth time, whatever you do, don't let them in. Redditor Broadad126 writes, this is the fifth time this happened this week. First, a child ghost hiding around the corner is seen. And then this happens. What would you do if this happened to you? Most in the comments suggest this is fake and has been around for years and in fact is not this redditor's work. I've got to say, it is nightmare fuel. Number 25, Ghostbuster. A tour of this haunted church leaves this YouTuber praying to get out alive. As he's on the staircase, he starts hearing noise. He continues through the haunted house and he sees this demon in the rafters. In front of the altar, he starts hearing sounds again and then he practically jumps out of his skin because of this. Later, something is moving around in the shadows. What the f Whatever is here is stalking him. He captures it on camera, creeping up the stairs. He ends up fleeing from what we can assume is the demon. And thankfully, he does get out alive, for now. I think it would be best if this Ghostbuster gave up busting ghosts before something really bad happens. Number 24, Haunted House. This stigmatized property is at the center of a series shared by YouTube channel Fourth Wall. The contract of the property states that there was an accident there and that, it seems, has led to this place being haunted. 
In one piece of security footage, you can see something peek out from the closet. Whatever is here is destructive. It has torn this lamp from its place. As he tries to sleep, he hears something banging in the closet. A moment later, the noise sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Something is here, but what? I don't know what sort of accident happened here, but it undoubtedly left its mark. For more scary videos like this, be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel. All of their videos have English subtitles. Number 23. Dark Magic The power of the jinn is in its darkness. YouTuber Barack Dogon Paranormal shares this video of a jinn cloaked in shadow. Bana benim dilimde konuş. Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The only thing creepier than its appearance is its voice. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. That's a soundtrack I don't want shuffled on repeat. I don't know what this gin is after. But I think we could all probably guess that it's not here to bless them. Number 22. The Return Would you return to a place where you encountered a ghost? YouTuber Ricky Velasquez shares this video of his return, and it seems it's still very much haunted. Who is there? What was that scream? That was a scream of terror. I think Ricky will soon regret coming back here because what he's facing seems more than a ghost to me. It seems like a demon. Number 21. They're here. While touring this empty home, you get a feeling that you're not alone. YouTuber DDoc Michael explores this incredibly creepy and haunted abandoned place, and right away, he gets the chills. <laughs> then he spots this fan moving. <laughs> After hiding this scary blade, he feels a bit jumpy. He moves to enter the next room, but he sees someone there. I'm not quite sure what he's seeing behind that frosted glass, but it's filling him with fear, and he seems to think the entity wants him to leave. <laughs> but he's having a hard time escaping. For some reason, he returns to the haunted room, and that's when he sees this terror. <laughs> Mm. 
Michael seems to taunt the spirit, and he gets what he asked for. Shortly after, this happens. Michael was right to leave this place. Whatever is here seems incredibly wicked to me. Number 20. Pure Horror Teaming up with iConjure Paranormal, YouTube duo Ghost Theory says that the camera doesn't do justice to the feeling of pure evil in this house. What's more is this house comes with a story. As they're heading upstairs, they find a letter pressed into the door frame. Nah, no, I'm not, not, I'm not happy. <laughs> this is just awful. Seriously, what That's is this? Like. What does that say? Later, they're heading upstairs when they hear something. Come there. If there's anyone here, we mean you no harm. We're just explorers. I'm going into night vision. They go upstairs anyway, and while looking through one of the rooms, they keep hearing things. Some of you guys. It was, it was below me, but. I thought it was. I thought it was by you. I didn't move. Then they hear a phone start to ring. And I'm shaking like a shitty dog here. Shit sakes, there is something in there. There's somebody in here. If someone answers that one. They go outside, and they see a light on inside. One that does not turn on. There is a light on in the building. What the We turned that off if that was us. I only turned one light on. But soon, the mystery is solved. Hey? Who oh, just... Was it you that was just walking around? You were in my garden for a minute. Yeah. What were you doing in there then? We were just filming a the look. house. Sorry? We were filming the house. You don't film Tom and his house with the permission. This video is a warning to urban and paranormal explorers. Not all empty houses are open for business, but in my opinion, this one made for great content. Number 19. Office Poltergeist Would you be able to get any work done with this racket going on in the background? YouTuber Cebu Bike Boot Camp shares this video of a poltergeist tormenting an office in Bratislava. This guy is taking it in stride. I expect he's gotten used to the poltergeist messing around here. According to the worker, the only people in the building is the guard on the ground floor and him on the ninth floor. While this, of course, would be easy to fake, I'm going to take this guy at his word. I probably wouldn't get any work done here because I'd be too busy dealing with this poltergeist. Number 18. The Head One of the scariest Randonautica experiences of their lives, YouTube team Don't Blink Paranormal are led to a bridge where they find something a bit heady. That? What? A rope. Rope? Is it a rope? But what's at the end of it? What is that down there? What is that? No. Now it's time to reel it in. Um, what it? Oh, babe. What the f Ooh, that ain't just a, that's not just a head. It's a head, but thankfully not a human one. However, it does have a mysterious message written on it. Shit. I'm um, not. What's it? Oh, no, it's not blood on. What's that it's say? It's just red, huh? Are you eating bugs again? Yeah, um... What in... What's it say? Do you see me? Do you see me? That gives me chills. I don't think a stalker could come up with a creepier catchphrase than, Do you see me? If this were me, I'd be sleeping with one eye open from that day forward. Number 17. Ghosting. 
Even ghosts will ghost you. Redditor Fonzbot shares a video of this dude who got ghosted, but not in the way you might assume. Watch as the paranormal investigator totally misses the encounter. Did you see it? What appears to be a ghost shifts past in the light of his torch. Although it could just be mist or his breath, it does look more substantial and is clearly seen shifting through his beam of light. I think it's probably just water vapor of some kind, but it makes for a cool effect. Number 16. Scary Discovery YouTuber CJ Faison had to call the police for this startling discovery he made inside his haunted farm. Let's see what happens. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I got chills because the camera was on the floor and now it is up there on the thing. How did the camera move on its own? That's anyone's guess. But something is here, as CJ will soon find out. I understand, and that's one of them. Go! Oh! Hello? 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 After looking around and finding nothing, CJ turns on his ghost app to speak with the spirits, and then he hears another noise. What the f Then as he's leaving, he sees a figure in the woods near the house. Oh my gosh. Hang on. What? That was a the whole thing about skinwalkers, okay? I'm I'm literally a believer in this now. That was a very 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 tall figure. Was a skinwalker playing house in CJ's haunted farm? It definitely could be. If not, there's something else here, and whether human or paranormal, I think CJ is for sure being watched. Number 15, Ghost Breaks Equipment. Some ghosts are just camera shy. YouTube team Project Unknown found this out firsthand when a ghost went after their camera. So mean. Ooh, what's that? Jesus. What happened? The camera. Which camera? The night vision. What happened? How did you, did you, did you? What? The camera broke? No. Yeah. Apparently, the ghost literally knocked the camera out of the crew member's hands. So mean. Ooh, what's that? Jesus. And when the person filming shifts toward her, something is caught in the reflection of this glass. Well, I think this was just the reflection of the cameraman himself. The rest is a little unsettling. Did it slip out of her hands because she's wearing gloves? What? The camera broke? No. Yeah. Holy sh. That's a possibility. But I think it's also possible they're dealing with an unfriendly ghost. Number 14. Kitchen Poltergeist. Are all poltergeists fond of cooking? Shared by YouTube channel, Expedente Paranormal RV. This footage shows a poltergeist making its rounds in the kitchen. First, it simply opens a drawer and then a cupboard. Then it seems to have forgotten something in the cupboard. The 
The kitchen is always a hot spot for poltergeist activity. It's my theory that spirits either spent much of their lives there or are just really hungry. Number 13. Spirits done talking. This spirit is about to hang up on you. YouTuber Tommy Amongst the Tombstones shares this footage of a ghost with no humor. Are these woods behind us? Is it haunted back here in these woods? Did it? I really want one of you to make this EMF detector go off for me. I want I want to know that you're here and that you're uh, <gasps> here and that you're. Uh, is this how ghosts hang up the phone? When Tommy asks if that was the spirit, he responds. Letty, was that, was that you that knocked off the EMF detector off your headstone? Yeah. A bit passive aggressive, but I respect its honesty. Number 12. Destroyed. What happens when Randonautica has had enough of your shenanigans? The YouTube team Proving Demons found out that it apparently destroys your possessions. The team found their car in this awful state. Oh my. Did this really have to happen? It looks like a bat has been smashed through the back window. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just chill. I know how much you are right now. Mm. Just chill. I'm going to tell a story. Two of the car's tires were slashed as well. Luckily, there were several CCTV cameras in the area, so hopefully they can capture the culprit. Have a bat to put the back window through. Yeah. Now that's another story. They came with two tools. So, I can only think, I can only think like Rand and Altica. Do you think some stranger did this or someone they know? I think only CCTV can answer that. Number 11. Villa Farm. This 19th century farm located in Cheshire in the UK is seriously scary. And YouTube team Shuck TV Paranormal have locked themselves in there for the night. Upon entering, they feel someone in the home. Hello! They keep getting the jeepers but it's unclear if there are any creepers around. When they finally get set up and are talking through a spirit box, the curtain moves behind them. The way it moves doesn't look like the wind, and the vibes are making them want to flee this place. Oh, it is making me want to stay. Me and Adam. Oh, okay. That's it. And maybe their vibes are right. What the f was that? Did you hear that? I heard like before that though there was as if like okay. In my opinion, this is super creepy. Is it a demon? Maybe, but then again, I think it could be someone's gut telling them to leave. And if that's the case, they should definitely listen. Number 10, Villa Farm Part 2. This is a double header. This is YouTube channel Bad Cat Paranormal's take on the same Villa Farm in Cheshire, and she doesn't feel safe. I don't know why I feel this unsafe here. I just don't feel safe. I've never felt like this in any abandoned place before ever. And I'm hoping it's paranormal. She sees a shadow at the top of the stairs. I don't really see this one, but I do hear this creepy message through the spirit box. Who is watching? I don't know, but they sound angry. It's no wonder the team felt so unsafe here. I feel like there's an evil presence, and it's wholly unwelcoming. Number 9. Boy Ghost. 
YouTuber Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is interacting with a boy ghost in this haunted house. While in the cellar of the home, he hears a spine-tingling demonic growl. A steady cam in another room captures furniture moving, and in another room, more movements. And in another room, more movement is captured. A phone starts to ring, and on the other end is the boy. Твоя мама здесь нет. Ты где сейчас находишься? This heartbreaking interaction leads to this revelation. Кто еще с тобой? And later, something snaps. Все. I'm not sure what that was. Could it have been an electrical short? Or did this young boy finally become untrapped and travel to his mother on the other side? I hope that's what happened. But sadly, I can only hope. Number 8. Someone is buried. It appears someone is buried here, and YouTuber Franco of Franco Travels returns to the haunting location, this time in the daylight. Look how green it looks like. It's like there's a filter. It's already on here. I'm not even going to use my light. Every time I see that thing, I always feel like something's hiding inside of it. As he wanders through, he comes across a few chilling discoveries. First this. I don't remember seeing that. So it looks like they took the statue. It says something here. Fell? Fell. I don't think that's real blood at all, by the way, because that would be black. But definitely, something changed here a lot. And then this. Oh, is that a bone? There's a bone right there. Probably like a chicken bone. Let's hope it's a chicken bone. As he enters a hallway, he hears a loud bang in the distance. I don't even know why I got the flashlight on. I got a really loud bang that just took place. I don't know if something, living or spirit, is present in this creepy monastery, or if that's just its old bones settling. But this place is scary enough during the day. I can't imagine how scary it is at night. Number 7. Volcanic eruption. Don't get too close. This is hot. YouTube channel Terror Al Extremo shares this video of a volcanic eruption happening right before this cameraman's very eyes. Aquí presenciando la erupción de fumarola del volcán Popocatépetl. Would you stand this close? I think this epic plume is a warning sign. Run and run fast. Number 6. Conjuring House In yet another Conjuring House investigation, YouTube team Spective Paranormal is doing an Estee session when they get this creepy response to a question. Haunted. Can you leave? Are you a good spirit? This is followed by an interesting exchange about the afterlife. I heard that. We heard that. Can you tell us what it's like where you are? It's a lie. The afterlife? Is it a lie? I think that's for the spirits to know and for you to find out.
Number 5. Forgotten Treasures This abandoned house is full of forgotten treasures, and it's also full of poltergeists. While exploring the incredible place, YouTuber Straight Explorer gets some readings on his K2 meter. What is going on, guys? Orange. The REM pod is momentarily triggered on the stairs, and at the same time, an orb drifts overhead. As he makes his way through the home with the spear box running, he hears something in the hall. Hello? I don't know if it was on here or in this house, but I just heard, hello? Hello? That sounded like it came from the spirit box to me, but it would be enough to make me paranoid during the rest of this investigation. More than that, it would send me packing. Number 4. Poltergeist Panic Get ready for the show. YouTube channel Black Collar Project shares this poltergeist activity in a haunted theater and it's pretty theatrical. Move the chair. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I heard that too. Something right up here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The poltergeist moves a chair, scraping it across the floor. Watch again. Oh. Oh. This chilling capture left the team stunned. There's more to this theater than what meets the eye, and if there's more footage of this place, I'm here for it. Number 3. Ranch House Demon Patrick of YouTube Team, The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations, visits Papa's Place, a haunted ranch house, in search of the devil, and he's about to find one. He captures what some are calling a shadow figure on the door. It slinks into view and then moves back. Some say it's Patrick's arm casting a shadow, but I don't think so. It appears again shortly after. Slight. Is this a true shadow figure or just a shadow? In order to get to the bottom of this, we'd have to know who, if anyone, is with Patrick but I'm pretty sure this is a solo visit. Number 2. Mystery Trailer This video trailer leaves more questions than answers. YouTube team Han Kardeschler shares a series of clips involving a complex and dark case. An unknown woman is captured walking into this home at an odd gate. <laughs> The team goes inside, and chaos ensues. A cryptic hand is seen in a frosted window pane. And the last scene captures a figure standing at the tombstones. For some reason, the guys get scared and start running. And then the figure is seen disappearing down the road into the darkness. What are you doing? Although I can't really piece together the story from these clips, they've convinced me to tune in to solve the riddle. Feel free to do the same and share what you found in the comments.
I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Yeti in a Snowstorm While trapped in a wicked snowstorm, YouTuber Grafnix faces off with a Yeti. First, the team captures Jesse on a security camera, mysteriously racing out into the darkness in the middle of the storm. He's running. Why is he leaving though? I don't know. It looks like he's running from something. They search for Jester in the darkness but can't find him, but it seems to them like he's running from something. And then they find this clip. Security footage captures the Yeti yet again outside their home. As they're examining the footage, they hear a knock at the door. When they open it, they don't find the Yeti. Instead, they find this. Mike, it's Jesse! Come here, come quick! Jesse! Let's get him inside, come on! They attempt to get Jesse help, but their car won't start, and then this happens. It's not starting! What do you mean it's not starting? We, we gotta do something, man! Come on, Jesse's freezing! He's dead! We have to go back! It's. I don't know! We're... We gotta go! Let's come on! Come on, get Jesse, we gotta go back inside. Let's get back inside. Come on, open the door, hurry. Okay, get him inside. Okay. What was, what was, what? What the f***? What? Come on, man, get in there. Give me that. That was a close one. The guys were so close to being yetied that their intense footage is disrupting my soul.